Hi kids, welcome to Teacher Chief's e-classroom. And today we are going to have Health 6, Quarter 1, Week 4 on Health Appraisal Procedures. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. What are expected from you today? First, you are to describe a health appraisal form. Second, identify the steps in health appraisal. Third, explain the importance of health appraisal. And fourth, fill out the health appraisal form. Now let's have a review of what we had last week. What I want you to do is to put a check mark if it shows good health management skills. If it does not, put an X mark. Are you ready? I hope so. I hope you have your activity notebook and your ball pen with you. Shall we begin? All right. Number one, brush your teeth every after meal. Number two, drink more soft drinks and alcoholic beverages. Number three, exercise regularly. Number four, do your assignment at the last minute. Number five, have enough rest and sleep. Number six, eat a balanced diet. Number seven, use sunblock when going outdoor under the sun. Eight, be with people who give you emotional support. Nine, limit the use of gadgets such as cell phones. And number 10, avoid smoking and taking prohibited drugs. Done answering? I think so. Let's check your work. Number one, brush your teeth every after meal. That's a check. Drink more soft drinks and alcoholic beverages. That's an X. Exercise regularly. That's a check. Do your assignment at the last minute. That's an X. Have enough sleep and rest, check. Eat a balanced diet, check. Use sunblock when going outdoor under the sun, check. Be with people who give you emotional support, check. Limit the use of gadgets such as cell phones, check. And lastly, avoid smoking and taking prohibited drugs, check. Count the number of check marks that you got. If you got eight, nine, and 10, that means you're doing a good job. You've mastered our lesson in health last week. So how much did you get? Wow, amazing job. Now let's move on to our lesson today. I hope you're gonna keep up the good work. I have a question. How important is your health to you? Does a pupil's health affect his performance in school? Of course, yes. That is why your teacher conducts a health appraisal on you. Now, let's see this health appraisal form. I want you to look at it and look at the parts in it. You have their personal name. You have their last name. That's your apellido, first name, that's your name. Middle initial, that's just the shortcut of your middle name. Just the first letter. The address, street or sitio. Next is the barangay. And next is the municipality. For your parent or guardian, you start with the last name, then the first name, and then middle initial. For your gender, choose male or female you just put a check mark on the appropriate circle and then birthday that's month day and year then health history you have there put a yes or a no there are there are columns yes and no and there are circles under it and there are some items that you have to attend to like allergies or reactions to food medicine and others skin rashes fever frequent colds, cough, and sore throat, 
and 5, convulsions or seizure. Then you have section 2. First section is health history. That's section 1. Then section 2 is physical examination. The height, the weight, the blood type, and the test results. I have some questions. What kind of form was shown? It was a health appraisal form. What is health appraisal? Health appraisal is a series of procedures to, un to determine the health status of pupils. The health status of the pupil is determined through the use of pictures, observations, screening tests, and medical, dental, and psychological evaluations. What information are found in the appraisal form? The information that are found in the form are personal, health history, and physical exam. There are three steps in health appraisal. These are number one, screening, number two, scoping, and number three, appraisal. Now, what happens during these three steps? What are considered during these three steps? Let's check it out. Steps in health appraisal. We start off with screening. What happens during the screening? The screening determines the potential health implications of the policy. Second step is scoping. What happens during scoping? Key health issues and public concerns are identified that should be considered the assessment. Health determinants that may, may be included factors such as the social and physical environment, housing quality, crime rates, and social networks. Personal or family circumstances such as exercise, risky behavior, and employment. And the last step is appraisal. What happens in the appraisal? With the defined scopes, available evidence is gathered and used to estimate the potential health gains and losses. So after the screening, the teacher does the scoping, and then the appraisal. The appraisal is when all the evidences are examined and they are used to estimate the possible, the potential health gains and losses. Why is health appraisal important? Kids, health appraisal is important to know the health history, family history, and current health status of pupils. It, is, it also helps the teachers understand the pupils and address their individual needs. Just like a student who has allergy, for example, skin allergies. So the teacher must know that because sometimes when we do activities in school or example, um, if we have face-to-face -face classes and we're having some experiments, there might be substances that you might be allergic to. So with this health appraisal, the teacher will be aware that you have allergy on this one and that one. So problems will be avoided if the health is appraised in the beginning. Another one, for example, if you have some health issues with your spine or if you have some health issues with, um, let's say, um, seizures like that. So physical activities like in physical education, there would be some limitations for you joining the activities. That is why it is very important for the teacher to conduct a health appraisal on the students. And that is why it's also important for you to cooperate. Don't get angry. Don't get mad if your teacher asks you to fill out some forms so that these forms will be able to help you, to help the teacher understand you better and also to address your individual needs. Now here we have an activity. This is activity one. Fill in the following health appraisal forms. Actually, there are two. Part one and part two. Part one was already shown to you earlier. So you have to write there your name, your address, your parent or guardian's name, your gender, birth date, contact number. Then you just check yes or no for your health history. 
Do you have any of the following? Or have you experienced any of the following? Then for your physical examination, height and weight and blood type. Then health appraisal form part two. Do you have problems with any of the following? Check the appropriate column. Asthma, hubak, sore throat, heart ailment, menstru menstrual problem, dental problem, urine and bowel movement problem, and diabetes. If you are a boy, so of course you don't put a check mark on, on yes for menstrual problems. So this is only for the girls. You can just uh, mark their NA for the boys for the menstrual problem because you don't experience it at all. So that's it. I want you to, by the way, I want you to fill in these forms and then you're going to submit it later on to our Google Classroom, okay? That will be your um, additional activity to submit it. Now let's move on to the assessment. I want you to choose the letter of the appropriate answer. Based on our discussion, the following are information found in a health appraisal form, except which one? A, health history, B, personal information, C, hobbies, D, physical examination results. Number two, immunization, childhood illness, and allergies are part of what? Health history, B, current status, C, family history, or D, screening procedure. Number three, the following are steps of a health appraisal except what? A, screening, B, appraisal, C, scoping, or D, treatment. Number four, in what step of the health appraisal are potential health gains and losses estimated? A, screening, B, appraisal, C, scoping, or D, treatment. Number five. In which step are key health issues and public concerns identified? A, screening, B, appraisal, C, scoping, or D, treatment. Number six, in what step of the health appraisal are potential health implications determined? A, screening, B, appraisal, C, scoping, D, treatment. Number seven, Factors such as the social and physical environment, housing quality, crime rates, and social networks are considered in what step of health appraisal? A, screening, B, appraisal, C, scoping, or D, treatment. Number eight, exercise, risky behavior, and employment are to be considered as part of the appraisal of blank. A, social environment. B, physical environment, C, physic physical environment, or D, personal and family circumstances. Number nine, what is health appraisal? A, it is part of evaluating a pupil's intelligence. B, health appraisal is a process of determining the pupil's skills and abilities. D, C, Health appraisal is a series of procedures to determine the health status of pupils. Or D, none of these. Number 10, why is health appraisal important? A, it is important to know the health history, family history, and current health status of the pupils. B, it is important to help teachers understand a student better. C, it is important to help teachers address the pupils' individual needs. Or is it D, all of the above? Are you done answering? If you are, then let's check your work. Number one, the correct answer is letter C. Number two, A. Number three, D. Number four, B. Five, C. Six, A. Seven, C. Eight, D. Nine, C. Ten, D. I want you to count the number of check marks you got. What did you get? Did you get eight, nine, or ten? If you did, 
then that means you passed the test. Congratulations, you're doing very well in our class. Let's have your assignment. Again, I will remind you to submit the health appraisal forms one and two that you have filled out in our activity to our Google Classroom. Before we end our class, I want to remind you of the following. Happiness begins with good health. So be sure that you are pra practicing good health management skills and you are appraising yourself so that your teacher would be aware of your health status and the teacher would be able to address your individual need. But before we end, please don't forget to like and to share my video to your friends and family. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to Teacher Jean's channel. Until next video, bye-bye, kiddo.